I'm at the yurt, right? So I haven't done a video at the yurt for a while. We cleaned up the whole yurt area. We put a new base down on the yurt. Look at that. Oh, looks so good. Some new stone, all that good stuff. And from over the years, there was so much clutter around here of old projects. I mean, the wood just rots and it just, it, Pennsylvania really beats the crap out of stuff that stays out in the elements. So I cleaned it out really good, gave it another quick cleaning the other day, and I took down a bunch of hooks that I used to hang my bags on. Now I truly miss them. That's right, I miss those hooks. I, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make some bushcraft hooks for camp, all that good stuff. So this is a quick, nice little project for beginner all the way out to expert to um, older people who are like, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm not getting down on my hands and knees and doing all that craziness. So uh, let's just get right into it. All right, so for this project, you do not, do not need to go cut down a tree. I mean, you can literally just find brush piles or down trees. The stuff can be dead. As long as it's not so brittle that it's just gonna break apart you should be good. So here's a Y here. I can cut it with my knife, or in my case, I have a saw. So let me do this. This is so nice and so quick to make one of these things that you're good. So we had a tree that was growing up this way, split, okay? And um, what I went ahead and did then was I cut the branches down. So it looks like an offset slingshot, okay? So from this point, if I wanna be really fancy, I can trim up all those edges, or if I don't wanna be fancy, I don't even have to do that. So what we're gonna do now with this hook is we're gonna attach it to it. Like, see how quick that was? It's almost there. Now, one thing you're gonna notice though is round on round never ever works in the woods. So we gotta do some of this backside. So you can go and baton this if you want. All I'm gonna do is take my knife and I'm just gonna flatten out the backside ever so slightly. So I'm not gonna get overly crazy with it. Just, is my knife that dull? Jeez. All right, so we're just gonna trim it down like this. Look at that, flat on the side. Now when I lay my flat section on here, it doesn't rock and it doesn't roll at all. And uh, now I'm ready to rock and roll, not my hook. But to make this a little bit better so the hook doesn't just fall down the tree, you're gonna take the top portion of your hook and the bottom and you are going to cut a V-notch in there, okay? So V-notch is just a notch, the shape of a V. Um, just enough that the rope can catch in there and not slide down, okay? So we're just gonna carve one of those in there. You could do this with your saw, you could do this with your teeth, you can't, whatever you, whatever is gonna make you happy today while you're at camp, that's what you're gonna do, all right? It's gonna be great, okay. So top one cut in just like that. Now we're gonna do the bottom one and we're set to go. Now you just need a little bit of rope and uh, we're gonna tie this thing on. So I'm gonna take my hook, place it where I want it, and then I'm gonna take my first piece of rope on the top and I'm gonna tie this on. Now you could literally tie this however you like, okay? Um, you're gonna get that set and then you're gonna get your second piece of rope if you didn't lose it and you're gonna tie on your bottom portion, okay? Now, of course, the tighter you can get these on here, the better the hook's gonna work, but uh, I wouldn't get overly stressed out. As long as the hook's not falling off the tree, you will be fine. And that quick, my friends, you literally have a hook around camp that you can utilize, and if it's a nice one, like this wood, for how I thought it was that much rotted, okay, um, it's actually really nice and dry. So if I clean it up a little bit at the end of camp, rather than leaving trash around, I could take my ropes off and keep my hook in my bag, and then when I get to my new camp set one of these up let's test it out all right so hooks in place now I can just hang my haversack hang my backpack whatever I need to hang and I'll be good to go so there you go all right so that's today's video if you liked it hit like and subscribe down below great bushcraft trick definitely try it out this spring and summer around camp um, so yeah link below like subscribe all that good stuff then go check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all of our cool gear we have a lot of new blogs coming out from all the instructors and uh, I think that's about it so check us out online and until next video stay in the woods.